Now, lawmakers on Wednesday began the debate on the draft estimate of revenue and expenditure for the fiscal year 2021. The draft was presented to lawmakers by the Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs on November 12 for scrutiny and approval. Let's take a listen. The estimated draft could not proceed due to motion moved by parliamentarians in order for committees, especially the Public Accounts Committee, to consolidate However, the Public Accounts Committee has cut down the budget estimates on expenditure for almost all the fiscal year 2021. According to the Board of the Public Finance Committee of the National Assembly, the committee has cut down the budget deficits of draft estimates. Celia Jata, the National Assembly member for Wooly West and also chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee, stated the reasons for the cuts. Honorable Speaker, I think it is important to state as a start that the essence of what we did as committees on the draft estimates was essentially to cut down the deficit of the budget. So in the view of FPAC. Any savings that have been made in that process should not be plowed back into the same budget because we will be defeating the purpose for which we did the cuts. It could be recalled that there was a budget deficit of almost $6 billion in the fiscal year 2020. However, the Public Accounts Committee has cut down some ministries' budget expenditure on the draft bill, as explained by Alajimbo, a member of the Public Accounts Committee. Now, the first one we're going to deal with is the um, National Audit Office. The National Audit Office, uh, what was approved last year by us, was $112 million, And they requested for $208 million for 2021 estimate. That's what they requested for. Um, in our conversations with them, or in our meetings with them, we asked them to reduce their budget by 8 million, which they've agreed, and they've also done that. So it really, it was, um, uh, it was, there was no push and pull between us and them. Um, they understood the economic situation of the country, and they've agreed to reduce their budget by 80 million. Um, essentially, what we are recommending is 128 million. Now, we have not cut any particular area. We've asked them to do the cutting themselves. We gave the knife back to them for them to cut, and they were able to cut and give us a report which we're going to submit to the Minister of Finance so that they can um, uh, um, do the reallocation, but they have actually agreed to cut um, uh, 80 million. The economy of the Gambia suffered a huge setback during the pandemic as key revenue generating sectors were closed due to government restrictions. Economic growth has also been revised downwards due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariama Cham. Lawmakers in Parliament debating on the draft estimate of revenue and expenditure of the fiscal year 2021.